You're watching News Channel 11 at 11. All is quiet along the streets of downtown Johnson City, including here at the John Severe Center. Welcome into News Channel 11 at 11 on this Christmas Eve. I'm Blake Lipton. It was 30 years ago tonight that fire ripped through this iconic building. 16 people died and 50 others injured. Flames, thick toxic smoke, and cries for help filled the air. The fire originated in apartment 102 and fed on drop ceilings and other combustible material added during a 70s era renovation. <laughs> Here at Muncie Memorial United Methodist Church, candles were ready for lighting and choirs were ready to sing, all part of the annual Christmas Eve services. Now, 30 years later, those services on Christmas Eve have continued. As Ansley Daniel found out, the fire at John Severe changed the church and this service. She joins us now live with more. Blake, 30 years ago, the scene from the top of the WJHL studio was much different. Flames had engulfed the John Severe Center, claiming the lives of 16 people and injuring dozens of others. Also different, the mission of the Muncie Memorial United Methodist Church just across the street, that night forever changing their ministry. Picture I'll never forget, of course, is driving down North Run Street, right down toward the John Severe, and seeing that picture of smoke and people and fire trucks, and it was uh, it was just a horrible scene. Thirty years ago, Christmas Eve brought tragedy to Johnson City. The John Severe Center downtown had erupted in flames, releasing thick, toxic smoke into the sky and cries for help into the distance. Janie Dosser was a nurse who was called in to work the disaster. I just kept the names and helped to answer questions for people that were looking for someone. The fire that started in apartment 102 fed on drop ceilings and combustible materials that were added during a 70s era renovation. Through tragedy, those flames ignited another fire in the hearts of members of Muncie United Methodist Church just across the street. Most of us in this church really did not see our neighbors, but that night the blinders were singed off. And so now that we've seen our neighbors, we have to connect with our neighbors. On that cold night, Christmas Eve services were canceled. Church leadership and members helping firefighters and those displaced. Nothing was as it should have been right off on that Christmas Eve. Each passing year serves as a reminder for what happened that night. An empty building now turned into a community gathering place known as the melting pot, forever changing the church and its mission. We realized after that fire that we could use this space to serve breakfast on Saturday mornings, and so the shepherd's breakfast was born. On Christmas Eve, the church hosts Open Door Christmas with communion, singing, and fellowship for the community. It pulled the community together a lot and brought Muncie Church to the forefront in helping those here at John Severe that suffered from that. Mary Scherzinger lives in the John Severe Center today. She says the building now serves as her safe haven. I was homeless out here a couple years back, and the community really gave me support and helped me to get through a lot of things. They've seen me rise up, and getting into John Severe was another miracle. The John Severe fire shaped Johnson City that night, and those who witnessed it firsthand say it's a story that needs to live on. The story has to continue, but I don't think they'll stop telling and hoping that each group of young people will hear and understand the importance of that night. Another heavy topic on the minds of those attending the service tonight, the future of the John Severe Center, as the building was purchased by the Johnson City Development Authority earlier this year to make way for restaurants, retail, and housing. In downtown Johnson City, Ansley Daniel, News Channel 11. Right now on WJHL.com, you can watch a full documentary on the tragedy and hear emotional stories of family members and first responders on the scene of the John Severe fire 30 years ago. It will also air on ABC Tri Cities on Saturday, December 28th at 5 p.m.